everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet Deadlocked. Today we'll be heading to the Gauntlet of Doom at the Ghost Station. My friends, it is a black day for Dreadzone fans across the galaxy. Ace Hardlight, champion exterminator and respected philanthropist was brutally cut down by the maniac contestant known as Ratchet, a.k.a. the Butcher of Bogon. Fans reacted to Ace's defeat with shock and outrage. <laughs> Boo, we hate you, Ratchet. You cheated. Ratchet is a malicious criminal. He must be punished. Bowing to public pressure, Gleam and Vox acted quickly to address the issue. Fans of Dreadzone, I share your pain for the loss of the mighty Ace Hardlight. I encourage you all to express your grief and sympathy by purchasing this limited edition Ace Hardlight Memorial Action Figure on sale now for only 299 volts. A Vox News investigation later revealed that Ratchet used banned performance-enhancing drugs. In accordance with Dreadzone Regulation C6-5-9, paragraph 2, Ratchet has been sentenced to meet his fate on the Gauntlet of Doom! This special event will be broadcast live tomorrow night only on Dreadzone! Yep, we're heading to the ghost station, aka the Gauntlet of Doom. survived hundreds of arena battles, and even defeated Dreadzone's grand champion, Ace Hardlight. Who would have ever imagined this? Now, in a drastic and downright vindictive move, Gleam and Vox has sent Team Darkstar to the Ghost Station. The course is unbeatable, unbearable, unthinkable, and I'm having an aneurysm just talking about it! So what's it called? Do this worry, is... Ratchet. I will make sure you get out alive. My nav grid shows an abandoned supply ship on the other side of the station. There is a grind rail nearby that will take you to the station's core. I will give you more information when you get there. Oh yeah. These are ghost ghost executioners. I'm actually gonna kill these guys, but other mine launcher. Oh my god, the game's lagging. That's one. Those are Dread Zone Ghost Strikers. They are stronger than your normal strikers. So yeah, they're the original robots, but they are but they are ghosts. So yeah. They say war is hell, Juanita, but where does that leave Dread Zone, huh? Executioner. There we go. Got it. Excuse me for a second. Okay, we're good. Oh, wow, I'm dead. That was a dick move. Anyways, yeah. At least when you die, you do not have to do... When you die, you do not have to... If you already pulled that bull crank, you do not have to do it again. I did it because I was not fucking ready. The game just took me off guard. And also, the executioners don't respawn, thank God. Anyways, dual wipers, directors, and carpenter. Alright. If 
Ratchet was a tough cookie. What kind of cookie would he be? I'm gonna go with Snickerdoodle. What well, do you know? An executioner's right here. Yep, these are the original strikers, but they're in ghost form. How would there be robot ghosts? I would have no freaking idea. How did I miss the fucking grind rail? That is some BS. Yeah, there's still collision issues here. That is too classic. This is the third death I've shown because I've never died. I only bell up the time I died in fucking grind rail section was the fucking one in Chronos. And I hate those grind rail sections. I hate the ones in Chronos more, but this one's a close second. Yeah, that's what was about. That wasn't about to happen, like, collision issue. Yeah, there we go. I don't know we what know the hell happened. This is gonna end with Ratchet splattered halfway from here to Florano. Why don't we skip it and head back to my condo for a cocktail and a dip in the jacuzzi? Mm -hmm. No, I prefer to stay here where the real action is. I thought there's a turret right there. What I want to know is how Ratchet uses the bathroom in that suit. And there's a drop ship that spawns right here. I'm taking it out first, I don't take a hit. Right, grind rail. Yeah, just knock the, the DZ strikers off the windows, or just shoot the ones right there and you'll... And you'll uh, you don't have to worry about them, they'll fall off and die. Wait. Oh yeah, these are ghost tri spikes, ghost swarmers. I think that's the last, uh, that's the last node we have to crank for this mission. So once you get here, challenge complete. You know, I was just bluffing earlier. I knew Ratchet would pull it off. So, about the cocktail jacuzzi thing. Next part. Oh, isn't that a shame? Team Darkstar's only escape has been cut off. Wonder how they'll get past this one. They are on to us, Ratchet. Dreadzone has activated a force field blocking you from the supply ship. However, if you can capture the control nodes in that quadrant, I believe I can override the force field. So this is the one you have to basically hack all the grind, grind, grind all the nodes. There's another node down there. This one you don't have the diamond rails. Oh, wait, wait. There was gonna be more to this game, if I'm not mistaken, but it was cut in development. I wonder if they, if they actually plan. I just haven't found the actual like rebuild all the game. Not some the reboot, but like 
rebuild all the games from the ground, the original PS2 games from the ground up, and like basically give them like two years worth of development time, because the original games actually had the this game, well, let's see, Ratchet and Clank 1 was released in 2002, uh, Ratchet and Clank, they barely had, they had a year worth of development time, though. Ratchet and Clank 2 was released in 2003, up your arsenal in 2004, and up to Dead in 2005. So if they do remaster, like, rem a remake, a rebuild, make the game from the ground up, they should add some of the features that were missing. That might, that they might have, that they they wanted to put in the game, but they didn't do so. So, like, if you wanted to get, because Ratchet could actually become an exterminator, could become the exterminator rank originally, but I guess it was cut during development, so, yeah. There was also that one mission in Char where you actually have to rescue Hydra Girl, if I'm not mistaken. That was also something late in the game, so, uh, yeah. You don't sell the snake, folks. You sell the sizzle, and Ratchet is hot. I love it when you that. Hey, Red Zone, is that all you got? <laughs> A robotic ghost. That just sounds weird. But you know what's even weirder? Wait till we, well, those boxes I'll get to them in a bit, dude. It. Swing a shot across here. Now here we encounter robotic ghost zombies. That makes like I I probably feel that that makes zero sense. Yeah, you don't have to kill these dropships, because you do not have- you can just go back now and just- you don't have to kill the dropships, you can just- I'm gonna just- usually that's what I do when I play this, but you can just do it for the extra XP and all that, but anyways. Swing shot across here. Oh, if I had missed the dunk- the jump, I would have missed. Anyways. Okay, that stuff. Okay, yeah, uh, forgot about the stupid executioner. That's the, that's all the, that, and that is all the, those are all the note playing, so yeah, anyways. Fucking thing, robots, they always have, they always shoot me when I, right when I get out the cutscene. Alright, now we get through here, and we just have, and it's just like a nice little stroll until we get to the end. I mean, sure, enem like, enemies will spawn, like, right near the end, but that's it. Oh yeah, drop chip spawns here, and I think they drop off the text boosters. No, they drop off strikers. And there's two executioners right here. Max Nano second three. And that's the end of this challenge. Boss, I wouldn't worry. Were you? Nothing's easy in Red Zone, baby. Team Darkstar thinks they have a clear escape, but come on, folks. We're not letting them go that easy. I mean, this whole battle course is intended to send them to the grave. Oh, dear. You are still stuck. It appears there is a six-phase Theta Glyph encrypted force field blocking your escape. I am unable to crack the encryption from here. However, if you destroy the encryption computers that control the force field, that might short it out. Sir, request permission to begin hacking. We have to get these hacker raids in order to, uh... Wait, we have to... Wait, 
Two orbs to go, sir. Almost there, sir. One more orb and that door's open. And the doors are open. Team Darkstar is in rare form tonight. Fucking execution. These enemies are just super annoying. Well, they're not so much on top today, but on later difficulties, they just get extremely durable. Ravager. Well, that was a waste, but still. This could be a setup, sir. Last thing we need is to get killed in some tragically ironic way. And there are robot zombies inside of those tubes, but you don't have to kill them if you don't want to. They're not following me. Alright, what do you know? An executioner. Bye bye. And there's the hover ship right there, but it's being blocked by a force field. So, what do we have to do here? So, there's a force field right there, we can't go any further here. So what do we do here? We, yeah, that, I think that's where the other... Where does that lead? That leads back... Yeah, that leads back to the start. Anyways. So there's a gra gravity boot ramp right here. There's another execution. My god, did they... Did they, they just went overboard on these things. I already said what I had to say about the Napalm mod in the previous part, where like the Napalm mod makes the game lag like hell in uh, HD4. What you have to do here, so these computers that are here, they might look like they're just Joe, but this is the, these are the computers you have to take out in order to deactivate the force field. Once you do that, challenge complete. And now for our final challenge. Achieved. Team Darkstar has actually survived through the ghost station's infamous gauntlet of doom. It looks like it's all over. Or is it? Ratchet, we must make sure they can never use the station again. Destroy the station's outer turrets that guard the power cores. Then, destroy the central core and bring the station down. We will deal with Vox when you return. Parents with impressionable children may want to turn off their hollow sets now. <laughs> Children with impressionable parents may want to pretend they are watching the reading robot. So you have to take out all the stalker turrets. I don't think you have to take out the stalker turrets, but like, uh... Wait, do I have to take out all the stalker turrets? I hate the hover ship. Take that one out. Take that one out, alright. Yeah, and unlike the, there are no stingrays here, so this is the only place where you would counter both cycloids. I think you just have to take out the, the power force motor to uh, win.
Oh shit, I forgot about the one right here. I want to take this one out first. Okay, that's another turret. I'm gonna say I'm gonna actually heal up. This is actually my favorite track in the game, by the way, the music that's playing in the background. They say never use the safe again, but wait till what happens when we see when we complete the when we complete this challenge. It's disappointing to be honest. Only, I just ride most of them though. But oh, once we destroy them? No cutscene or nothing, it just says campaign complete. You don't even get to see the station go down because they intended to. Uh, apparently, they intended you to come back here for whatever reason, but then again, there are no dread challenges here, and unless you're trying to get the skill points, there's no point of coming back here, so what's the point? Alright, so we are done with all the Dread Zone, Dread Zone campaigns, so next time on Wretched Deadlock, we'll be heading back to the Dread Zone station to deal with Weeb and Vox. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. This is Ultimate Camaro, and I'll see you all later.